number 72, how a commercial is made. When we go up for commercials as an actor, we tend to just brush over who does what in the whole process. The actor is just the face at the very end of the process that ends up on screen. So let's go over the actual process. In the very beginning we have the client. So say I've just in the tip before I've mentioned BNZ. Say the client is BNZ. What the client does is the client goes to an advertising company and says I have three or four hundred thousand to make a commercial about home loans. And what the advertising company does is the advertising comes up, company comes up with a treatment. So be it, this is a very important campaign for BNZ, makes a big difference to their yearly profits. So they give it out to two or three different, different advertising companies. An example of an av advertising company would be Saatchi and Saatchi would be the most famous one. Um, what are other actual advertising companies? Uh, Mather and Ogilvy. Yeah, I just thought of them actually in my mind. Well done, Mather and Ogilvy. Okay, so these are advertising companies. They will take the whole budget and they will allocate They'll write a treatment and they will allocate a certain amount to making the commercial. But of course, there's, you've also got print, you've got magazine coverage, you've got cinema, you've got all sorts of different, um, different mediums that are going to, where the advertising is going to take place because they are an advertising company. That's, that's, that's exactly what they do. Um, so once the, once the brief has been given to... Um, the different advertising companies, the advertising companies come back with their ideas. Right, well what we would do is we would have this one present at a camera and he'd just be walking across shot or we'll have somebody in their home, the wonderful home they've bought with their home loan. So basically the different production, the different See, there's a bit of a process, sometimes it gets confusing. So the different advertising companies come up with their, their ideas and their treatment. And what BNZ does, the client, is, it, is the client chooses one. I think we'll go with film construction because they've come up with them. Uh, no, no, film construction's a production company. I think we'll go with Saatchi and Saatchi because they've come up with the most interesting campaign. Now, what Saatchi and Saatchi then do, they've won the, they've won the job. What they then do is they then approach production companies. Now in this production company sits the director and the producer. They are in the production company and the producer's job is to work out everything to do with the money side of it, everything to do with the organizational side of it, locations, the whole overview of how that three or four hundred thousand dollars is going to be spent. What the director then does is, as I learned from doing casting, directors are very often very good artists. I came across a few directors that were amazing. They could be artists in their own right. They, they come up with a storyboard of what their idea is or how they would execute the idea that the advertising company have put forward, the treatment that they have put forward for the commercial. And so the director, you know, they put in a lot of work because it's farmed out to say, or they say send two or three different production companies this treatment from the advertising company. And I have known, I've heard of production companies spending, say, $5,000 on their time and energy um, getting together a, a really good kind of showreel and treatment of, ha of script, everything. The director writes a script. Um, of how they're going to execute that commercial for that product. Now, I've known many times of um, production, production companies that have been, they think they've got the job, they've been told they're 90% got the job, and you're booked as a casting director because you need to cast this job that they've got booked for, and then suddenly they'll lose it to another production company, and they've spent you know, maybe a week of their time, $5,000, and they don't get the job. Which is, which is, you know, just part of the industry and it's part of why the production company needs to charge so much when they do get the job. So then the producer, usually it's the producer in the, in the production company. So examples of production companies, we've got, say, Flying Fish, Film Construction. Um, we've got, oh, I'm having a blank here. Flying Fish, Film Construction, other ones I've worked for in Ponsonby. Um, we'll go back to that. Um, 
so the I'm not <laughs> I'm gonna get back because I said too much already. Okay, so um so the, the the producer is the person who who calls the casting director and sees if the casting director is available. So he he or she may call two or three different casting people. Are you ready to cast a commercial? It's always now they always want you say it's Wednesday they want you to start Friday or sometimes even the next day. You know, are you free? Can you cast something tomorrow? Can you start getting these people? And then they'll send you the brief, and the brief is the characters. And you will be sent, the casting director will also be sent the fees for the actors. Um, when the casting director looks at the fees, the casting director knows which agents they can then approach for these roles. Okay, so the casting director then looks for the actor. The casting director sends out a brief to all the agents and gets suggestions in from the agents for actors to audition and out of all these suggestions the casting director may choose 20 people to audition. 15, 20 people, that's all. So uh, obviously that again, as I said before, it, it, it comes down to your photo being important. Um, obviously it's lovely if they know you and they know that your work is good and they know that your audition's good, so they, they're going to they're gonna get you in for an audition. And then once you once the actor gets the gets the the brief from the agent the actor goes to the audition and then the actor gets the job so you've got the client here advertising company production company production company has producer and director in it producer goes to the casting agent the casting agent goes to the acting agent and the acting agent produces the actor thank you